there's a lot of unanswered question after season 6 of Piggy Blinders. What did Tommy Shelby whisper to Duke? As well as what's going to happen between Finn versus Duke. This video I will try to answer some of the most unanswered questions from season 6 as well as share my predictions in the film. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. What did Tommy whisper to Duke? After blowing the, uh, the house uh, to pieces, he wakes to the social housing where we see a dinner on the grounds where he see the family and is going to say his final goodbye. Among them, we see Duke and Tommy goes to Duke and tells something into his ear. What it is, this of course is a big question, but a lot of a lot of the comments online says that the way he gave him the lead in killing Billy and testing Finn definitely allude to the fact that Tommy saw Duke as here to the as here to lead the family, carry on the legacy, who is probably orders the word to advise to lead the family. Another comment was the first couple of words were I want you, and then it was inaudible. Maybe he said I want you to take over the business, maybe he says I want to take over the family. So what is the Finn versus Duke Riverly? Well, so it was Finn accidentally that told about the assassination uh, plot to Billy and Billy of course told uh, Jack and Jack told the IRA. So it was like who says to who and then what happened. So in a, in a way was responsible for a lot of things that went wrong this season. And you know, Duke says to him like, hey, you're not part of the Shelby family name. So we can see how in the movie they're gonna do we're gonna see more of this where Finn goes after Duke so I'm excited to see that I believe that it's gonna be incredible to see the character Finn go into a, a villain role in the movie that we know is gonna happen now is Arthur Shelby dead there was a weak question because at the end when you know they're, where they're talking about hey they goodbye Arthur is not there he says that when you're going Tommy there will I'll be very soon, love Arthur. So that hint that he maybe he's gonna kill himself, I don't thought about that. I of course a hint that he could kill himself, but I don't see it happening in in you know right now as he had a relationship uh, with with Linda. So I don't know. I think you know and of course the character of Tommy did not die, so that will be sad. And I don't think they're gonna kill a character like that, like and specifically Arthur. It does just just don't don't make sense. And one of the, of course, we know that he was bleeding and he did not show for the dead dinner and Lisa cryptic letter uh, to his wife. So that, that could be a, a you know, flashback. So of what could happen to him now, the big, another, another question is, will Tommy take down mostly? Yes, of course, uh, Tommy is going to go and destroy his mostly political career because as we know, that was the biggest uh, feud in the in the series and we do not saw a final showdown. So I believe that we know that Tommy will want to stop the spread of fascism, but after we know World War II is gonna happen, so this will be incredible to see how the story is gonna play it out. Now, a big question that a lot of you have, will we see Hitler in the film? As we know, World War II is in the horizon and Stephen and I previous admission, he plans to end the Piggy Blinders with a film and he wants to talk about a lot of the war of World War II and we can actually see Hitler's name in the newspaper. So that will be a question. That will be a big question. Now, another question is what happened to Hayden Stagg? We did not saw him in the finale or anything like that. But as we know, he, the job, it was quick and it was just, you know, he was in a minor role. He just like, uh, he was just part of moving some uh, business for the, sh you know, for the Shelby's, you know, who helped him move the opium. So this was not really important for the character of Stagg. But it would be nice to see him in the film as well. Now, a big question is how the doctor knew about what was happening with Tommy. Of course, he was the doctor of Tommy, so he knew about the PTSD. He knew about the seizure, uh, seizures that he was having, Tommy was having. So this connect how he knew that, hey, I, we can use this to tell him that he has the same condition as his daughter. They knew about the daughter. So, so it was a big plan that the character uh, of Oswald and Lady Diana had to destroy mentally the character of of Tommy. They also had the plan of Lady Diana to sleep with Tommy. This way he will go into a downward spiral. But as we know, we cannot they cannot stop Tommy. He's a really intelligent character. He's a really, you know, genius character. So he knew how to put things together. Now a final question is if the visions of Ruby were real. In my opinion, I believe they were real. I believe that Ruby actually was there and this was a little bit of a psyche to the character. Maybe it was some imagination. But I felt that like that hug was real. So in a way she was there, like her spirit was there 
and the, you know Polly and her holding the character of Tommy to see the newspaper, and that way he was was like gonna die. Another question that you guys have is what? Why did Tommy did not kill the doctor? Well, it was in the eleven hour, so that was the end of World War One. So in a way, he's not a soldier anymore. So he he doesn't have to kill nobody, you know. And before that, when we you know everything is burned and, and we can see how the character is like free from everything, we can see that hey, he decides to not kill anyone. So that's what I feel like he he was like hey, I don't need to kill no more. I am free from all of it, and then all the, the things are burning. And he's in the White Horse, which was an incredible way to end the story. So in a way, you know, Tommy is a new character. Tommy is free from everything that happened from season one to six. And now what's going to happen next, of course, is his brother as well as his son. So that's a big part of it. And how that's going to play out in the film, which, as we know, Steve and I confirm. I did a video talking about that, about what's going to happen with the film and so on. So I will leave those uh, questions after this. So if you want to go ahead and watch that. So that's what some of the unanswered questions in this episode. If you have an additional unanswered question, you leave it in the comments below. And I will go ahead and try my best to answer it. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere. And I'll see you in the next one. In season, bye bye. he said, you have previously said you wanted to do seven season. So in terms of having shifted down to six and with the pandemic and all, how much of what's going to be in the movie will have been in season seven. The thing is that I, when I'm writing anything, but particularly Peaky, I tend not to have a plan except something very, very broad. So for the film, it's actually set in World War II, which I think I probably would not have done for series seven. I'd have probably taken it up to the war, but because it's a movie, then I think we need sort of a, a gear change. After season six finale last night, it feels like there's still things to tie it up. Notably, Tommy's fight against fascism. That's why during the war, it becomes very permanent because the war's predictions have all come true. So the guys always mostly and others are going to figure it out in the film. Yes. Oh. Now, talking about the film, in terms of how this final TV season sets up the movie up, are we looking at Duke and some of these characters that have come in late in the game? Yeah, because in reality, the first war generation by the time the second war is in terms of age, it was perceived in those days. And what I want to do is to have this generation come through I'm really interested in Duke. I'm really interested in the in Isaiah, Isaiah, and just watching a generation come through, but with the older generation still there. After a movie, are you thinking ahead of it at all? Yeah, I want to see what the movie tells us. I always the way in the writing of it. It's always the way in the writing of it. You just don't start with a very beginning, middle, and end, which I don't, and just let it go. Somehow you find what's going to happen next. Certain people will come to the front, and I like the idea of war time or post-war Britain. So it's a very different landscape, and I think it will be a great to it will be great to explore that. It brings a whole new look, and people dress differently and act differently, so it will be interesting. Now, if you're watching this video to the end and you <laughs> find yourself here, uh, I reach uh, I I'm not monetized, so I'm not making money for my videos, and I've been doing the, all these videos for weeks. So if you want to help the channel and continue to support me, I left a, a donate in the description, so you can go ahead and donate one dollar, two dollars. That will help to continue for me to make videos. I'm truly grateful for all the support, and thank you so much for watching.